coming, Ada. Like I remember there's a there's a <laughs> there's like a little question for a moment I thought it was telling me to pick up the bleach because it looked like this. And I was like, what? Is that bleach or is that milk? What is that? Oh, that's milk. Raccoon milk. Ew, that's gross. I would never drink milk from a fucking raccoon. From a goddamn mutated rat. Why would I do that? Uh, greetings from the CEO. Thank you, Instruments of Knights Construction Company. Yeah, so this guy is really into chess or whatever. And bullshit. So, the construction dudes. That's why you got all these stupid pieces. But, hey guys, remember cassette tapes? I bet you don't because you're fucking... You're... You're watching this, and you're probably not even fucking, I don't know, 30? <laughs> That's a lie. 30, 30 is... You, you is still know, like, uh, what a... What a fucking cassette tape is at, like, 21 at this point, right? Yep, and that's how the place got infested with these fucking rats. That's how the G virus got spread around. Raccoon City got fucked. Yeah, fucking rats. I love how Leon's like his first reaction is, "Man, I bet those rats fucking spreaded it." Spread it, did it, it. He's like, "I bet it was those rats." Instead of him going like, "Oh my god, I hope I don't have to fight that damn thing," unless he recognizes. That he already did fight it. Wow. Man, but what I was saying was that. Oh no, I already have full ammo on that. Alright, cool. Actually, you know what? No, this is one of the few levels where they want you to use the damn Magnum. So I'm gonna grab that with me. Grab that with me? You know what? Actually, fuck it. I'm not gonna do that. But if I do have any extra shotgun shells laying around, I will pick those up. Nope, don't have any extra. All right, cool. So first, I want to reload that with the eight that I have. A full clarion. Clarion? Wow. And then I'm going to take... I'm going to take out... Take out 15 extra bullets. There we go. I have my first aid, I have this grenade, which I really don't need to carry right now. I have the green and red, which I can combine. Store that. And I believe we are all good for now. I would like to have more shotgun shells with me, but at this point, we don't. I really hope I'm rotating these damn things. Am I rotating these? Because at this point, I'm just saving them at any location. <laughs> I really hope. Pick this map up. Awesome. I'm still... Oh yeah, because these count over here. As uh, picking everything up, these count. So, oh my bad. I kept pressing X because I thought it was a memo you pick up. Yeah, so this gives you a hint as to how these are laid out. So for right now, we're just gonna keep everything it as it is. I'm not gonna touch shit, and then we're gonna move on. Yeah, but like I was saying, I remember there was this uh, question. I say there's this question, but you know the question when people are like, if you're on a stranded island, what are the three things you bring with you? My answer to that was, I bring myself, a gun, and a single bullet. Because I'm going to give up real fucking quick. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, man. Chances of me being on a deserted island and, and a fucking... And a goddamn ship coming by to save me. Like, the island's deserted for a reason. Because nobody goes there. This is stupid. This is stupid. I remember this. Because I ran back over here. And I was like, how the fuck do you get this? And I kept running around. And I was like, what the f... What the hell? Bro, you are totally not alive. Yeah, you are. Fuck. 
just Why? I did not mean to hold that down. Oh, I'm wasting everything. I'm wasting so many bullets. Wow. That was the worst exchange I ever had in my life. Bow. 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 Cool, you're dead. Nice. So what is this? 2, 12, 8? Alright. 2. 12. Fuck, I hate when I do that shit. And then, what is this? <gasps> shotgun upgrade. Yeah. It's a shotgun upgrade. Look how beautiful this is. Problem solves itself. All right. Gotta reload. Is this locked? No, it's not. This is where we're supposed to go next, I believe. And that's where I shot those two guys at. And then we come back here after we rescue Ada. Cool, now all I need is a green herb. Is there a green herb around here? Oh, here's this. This is gonna be your best friend. You need like that. Yeah, sh shut up, bitch. I already know. You ain't gotta tell me. Start of the safe and chalk. Oh, yeah. That, that's what tells you that. I didn't even read that memo. I just skipped it entirely. Yeah, so that tells you that if you look on the side of the safe. Alright, that's cool. That's shit that they couldn't do in the original because the backgrounds, even though the backgrounds were pretty fucking impressive, uh, the backgrounds were just so low resed that they couldn't do that shit in the original. But now, they can so, I believe this is the area which had those two motherfuckers hanging at the, uh, at the, at the, at the graded fence or whatever. This guy didn't wake up. And here's my favorite thing. I'm not sure if I showed this off at all in this playthrough yet, but if you walk up while they're not activated and you put the gun in their fucking mouth, bow, done, one and done, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Hey, green herb. Combining. Why are you telling me how to combine items now? I guess because it never really recognized that I had all three of these in my item at once because I usually mix them the moment I get them. So these guys are over here dead because I shot them up. And I believe. I think past that guy. Isn't this guy holding like. Thought he was holding like shotgun shells or something. Maybe down there. <gasps> this is this the the room of death? Yeah, it is the evil fucking hallway. Never mind. We ain't gonna worry about that. But I am gonna unlock the. I should unlock the way just in case. Just so that I can have it unlocked. Look at the frame rate. So beautiful. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you ever saw in your goddamn life? So I believe this is just the light switch, right? Oh no, that's a shortcut. Yeah, this is a shortcut. What do I have? Do I have seven in here? I have seven, and I have four. Alright, because I believe the second time you run past here, another one of those G-Virus assholes spawn. There's a grenade. Saw that from a while away. Oh, that's everything in here. So I'm gonna take this bad boy out. Is it here? Because I, I think it's through there he spawns? Yep. Come on, get up, bitch. Oh! You better, you better back your dirty Dan looking ass up. Do your death animation, bitch. While your little while your little fucking evil children 
demon spawn come after me. Can they jump up here? They can totally jump up here, right? Yeah. It's not worth it. Don't waste bullets on these guys. They can't jump up here, so he just committed suicide. That's awesome. Yeah, so... I guess here's a th mechanic I should talk about. Fucking... So you see how the the uh, reticle aims in like that? Like, zooms in? That, incre that increases your damage on your shots. So if you're just shooting these guys, like... One, two, three, whatever. They're going to take like seven fucking shots. They're going to take like five, seven shots from the Magnum. But they, now they take four. I believe the shotgun does not have that though. So the shotgun is just there for panic situations where you're like, Oh, get him! So that's why it's really good to fight liquors with the shotgun. And it's even better to fight liquors like this. If you get them in a stun lock. Which... I suck at, so I will never do that. Unless I, unless I, uh, complete the requirements to get, like, the infinite knife for this game. <laughs> then I will do that. All the time. I will learn it. So, this leads... I think this is another shortcut. <gasps> Yay! I'm happy now. Oh, this guy totally wakes up. I know he does. So I'm just gonna do what you do best and deal with it. Because this room is way too fucking small to be fighting motherfuckers like that. So over here, you get this this thing that says hiding place. This thing, what is it called? This roll of film that says hiding place. And then you get your beautiful pouch that you want. And it creates a shortcut so that you can unlock this. Run through here. Is this guy really fucking dead? There's no way you're dead. Wow. Uh, I still need, a, like, a key card or some shit, right? No, I just need keys. So this creates a shortcut. Unfortunately, we don't have keys, so those areas are still unlocked. And usually you would pick this up and bring it back down. But I'm not going to do that because I want that bridge still down. Because I'm going to come back here. Like, that's going to be the last uh, piece that I pick up. I am really trying my best to find a fucking item box right now. I know it's in that room. I didn't know that Leon holds the gun like that when you run through the... Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's a nice little attention to detail. He's like, don't get the gun wet. You don't want shit to get all fucked up. Alright. So I'm not worried about running around. I'm not worried about uh, running into zombies and shit because I'm clearing this area out. Like in the RPD, I would leave some zombies around and shit like that. But here, did I miss that the first time? Oh my god. But here, I don't do that because, I'm not sure if you notice, all these areas are small and narrow as shit. So just having these motherfuckers alive is going to fuck everything up. So I'm back to my item box. I'm going to put that away, put that away. I do not need to be carrying that. Keep this with me. And we are good. Gonna drop another save. And then I'm trying to think which direction do I have to go to get those keys? Because I know I need those damn keys. Man, I'm surprised that those two zombies reacted and came over there because they heard... Because this is all technically one room and they heard the Magnum. Because usually, they would just meander about. And then uh, they would block the stairs. And that would be pretty dangerous. 
So. Huh. So we're here at the evil room. This must be like a branch and pathway, right? This place is so fucking evil. Look at this. It's ridiculous. And music plays and it's all like, look how evil this is. Oh, here's the keys. Thanks. Where does this lead? We're gonna hit that evil hallway last. <gasps> this is busted. Oh. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh shit. All right. Well, that's you can't get past there. Now I would head down here, but this is gonna. This is definitely the last place that I want to be. Because that's there to just take all your resources. Just, just, like, like a fucking, like, you throwing coins in a fountain. You just dump all your bullets in there. Happy I deal with this guy. Um. I am completely just running around in circles now. I can... But now, I just want to head to that room. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going the complete wrong way. I just realized that. Excuse me, goopy goobers. I will walk past you now. There's a dog barking outside my home. And it is loud. So if you hear a dog barking, there's nothing I can do about it. This is where I want to go. Alright. Because now that we have those keys, we can open these areas up. Is there a zombie in one of these? I think there is. By the way, this, <laughs> I didn't notice this my first time coming through here. So a part of me is really happy that that footage is lost right now. Oh, and this is where you would learn the, uh, the safe to the code, uh, the safe to the code, the code to the, not the code to the safe, the code to the fucking padlock. This completely did not notice this at all. My first playthrough. And I think this is something they had in the original game, too. <laughs> because, I'm not gonna lie, once I finished this area, like, I was fully, I was full, fully in intent, wow. Oh, is that how you say that? I was fully intent? Whatever, my intentions were, when I first did this area, in the lost footage, that I moved on without doing any of this shit because I didn't even know it was here. I didn't even see it. And because I felt like I was missing something, I was like, I was like, they told me, they told me if they feel like anything I'm missing, I should, I should go now because there's a point of no return. And I'm like, did I miss anything? So I just looked it up and I was like, oh, I missed a bunch of shit, right? And I was, my intention was to just suck it up and then, um... And then just keep the playthrough going the way it went. Because that was the first way I did it. But now that that's cancelled. There's really no reason. For me to do that. So over here. You're going to see this bad boy. And you're like oh man I can't open that. I can't open that. I, I need something. Right? So then. What you're going to do. Come on Leon. Stop acting stupid. I'm pretty sure we all remember this beautiful place. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way back up here. And for those of you who are worried, no, Mr. X does not come after you while you're up here. At least I believe he doesn't. He shouldn't, at least. 
And if he does, I'm gonna be scared of shit. So, I believe this is the last place for the valve. No, it's not. We still have more use for that. Holy shit. That's crazy. Um... What am I going to do? Alright. So we run up here. We are back in the police department. In which we will now head over to the dark room. My dog is whining. My dog just started crying for no reason. Now... I never been back here after the sewers or during the sewers, so I'm not sure if there's any new liquor locations. I don't believe so. I'm trying to listen for them right now. I don't believe there are. I believe nothing responds because this is just kind of a... Like, if you found the secret passage, this is just kind of a way of going like, Congratulations, man, you did it. I know we still have that liquor on the third floor, though. So we run over here, and you have to... Well, I thought that was the item box for some reason. You have to do this in order to make the place spawn, so you're just going to grab that. Take this roll of film, and I believe there's another roll of film we had? Or is that the only one? Nope, that's the only one. So we're going to develop this film. That's labeled Hiding Place. And there's two places here. A nice little nod to a, to a Resident Evil 7 that they give you the photos with the hiding places. Now, I... One of these places are, is fairly obvious because you see all the shit on the desk and stuff. The other one's not that obvious. But I know I know where they are. So I know where they are, so I will gladly show them to you. And I'm pretty sure you probably know where they are too. Um another thing. Whoa, hold up. Safety deposit room. Is there something still in the safety deposit room? Did I leave something in the safety deposit room? Did I leave something here? A knife! What? I thought I picked this up. Wow. Blessing in disguise. I will take that. So... Scared the shit out of me, man. Way to scare the shit out of me. What if it started moving? I would just lose my shit. It'd be all over. So now, we're gonna head to the stars room. Because that's one of the locations. This way. And the stars room is this way. It's not upstairs. It's on the second floor. Gotta remember that, because that liquor is still up there. So we head to the stars room. And we're gonna check up Albert Wesker's desk. Because here's one of the hiding places. And you get this wooden box. Now you look at this wooden box, and you're like, Wow, man. That's crazy. Let's open this wooden box. So then... You open this wooden box, and you get a red dot sight for the lightning hawk. So now, what, is it, what does it actually do? Allows for fast aiming, which is a godsend. Oh, so beautiful. Get that maximum damage way faster. Look at that. It's immediate. It's so beautiful. But you may notice that there's a little piece of film here. And you need to, like, really 
look. And there is no prompt for it. There is no prompt for it. And it's labeled... Risky, <laughs> Rising Rookie. That's what it's labeled. Rising Superstar. <laughs> so then... We're just gonna take that and meander back downstairs to the press conference room. Because that is where the second one is at, and I believe that is where we have two zombies down there that I kept alive. Because they weren't really in the way of anything at the time. I believe there's a point in the game where this whole entire hallway of whatever zombies you left on your first way through, they just all kind of despawn, I believe. Well, at least the ones that were in this room. Because I don't see them here anymore, and I thought they would be, like, walking about. But these guys... Oh, never mind. They are still walking about, so I'm just going to be quiet. You're going to open these. Open these. Two guys over here that... Three?! Why is there a three? Oh, this is bad. I don't have a flash grenade on me. One of these knives are about to get fucking used. Whatever. Excuse me, good old sir. Where is it? Where is it? Yep. I'll take the bite. Fuck it. I'm at danger? I was at fine last time. What? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, I, I panicked. And now I play Ring Around Rosie with these guys. He's on the ground. And now we're out of here. Did I get everything in that room? Press room? Yeah. So we got some fuel. Treasure Hunter! Yay! That's awesome. See? I told you guys. It's my first time doing it. Bloody footprints. Did I have these before? Were these here before? Uh, oh, almost forgot. We have that film that we can develop now. So we're gonna run all the way back to the, uh, to the whatchamacallit room. To the dark room. Wrong door. Hi, liquor. It's on the floor, dead. And we get a nice little nod back to an easter egg in the original RE2 which if you checked if you checked Wesker's desk a hundred fucking times of Leon saying there's nothing here I think you can do it with Claire too of Leon just constantly going like there's nothing here there's nothing here there's nothing here if you checked a hundred times you'll find a roll of film and it's just a picture of a fucking <laughs> Of uh, Rebecca Chambers in a in a basketball uniform. <laughs> You're a fucking creep, Albert. You really are. By the way, Rebecca Chambers is one of my favorite characters. I love Rebecca so damn much. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy that they kept that in there. Hey man, it's not it's not weird for me, it's weird for all you guys. If you like Rebecca Chambers, because Rebecca Chambers is around my age. She's been 18 since, since what, 19, when did this game come out? This game came out like 1998, 1998. She's been 18 since 1990, no, nope, my bad, that's Resident Evil 2 came out in 1998. Resident Evil 1 was 1990, 1996, I think. I think it was 1996. She's been 18 since 1996, basically. She's been, she's like Ash Ketchum. Been 10 years old forever. 
Ash Ketchum spends 25 years, finally wins Pokemon League Championship at, at the age of 10, after 25 years. <laughs> like, what? Makes no sense. Alright, so now we have this badge that we're carrying with us. Uh, let's see. Over here. We're gonna head back downstairs towards the sewers, because we ain't even finished that area yet. Down here. Come on, Leon. Stop getting stuck on these fucking corners, man. And down here, we're gonna take this stars badge. And you're gonna fit it in there. Now, if you have the USB dongle out, you have to retract that so that it can fit. And then you get long barrel for the lightning hawk. Another upgrade for your beautiful magnum. Which basically reduces recoil, puts more speed and damage on the gun. So now, your Lightning Hawk is uber powerful and it takes up two slots now. Completely worth it. Look at this. Look at this bad boy. Look how instant that is. Oh, so beautiful. You're going to be making some problems for people. That's what we're going to be doing. And you totally want to do that first before going down to that evil hallway of doom. I wish I did that my first fucking playthrough. It would have made my life easier. So over here, we have another door. which we just have a bunch of gunpowder. I believe that's it. All right? Yep, that's it. Is that it for the key? Yep. Goodbye, key. We are missing some things over here. What is this? Plug socket. Oh, yeah, that's why it's saying that. Okay, yeah. Because now they would want us to pick this up, which I believe we should do now. Alright. Yeah, we can do it now. We got everything that we need over here. I believe so. So we're going to take that with us. Come back downstairs. Make sure I have this equipped. I do. And then we're going to head... We're going to head to the item box. Real quick put what we have away so that we can have more room for that hallway of doom. So this way. All right. Not all that's done. Gonna put that away. Put that away. Put that away. I'm gonna carry these with me. No, I'm gonna carry three flash grenades with me. What's up? That's what I'm gonna carry with me. Instead of a fucking knife. Because I don't need the knife right now. Do I need the knife? Yeah, I'll take the knife. Fuck it. I'll take the knife. I need the knife. I always need the knife. And, uh... I'm gonna put these away. We're gonna save our game. And now, without further ado, it's off to the fucking hallway of Doom. Doom.